Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I had a little, little lull in the action in my uh, channel uh, today, so I decided I'm just going to throw a baseball game up, a Stratomatic computer baseball game, so that you uh, can see some uh, better graphics than what I usually have with my card and dice game. So today we're going to do a 1909 game. We're going to do the 1909 White Sox visiting the 1909 Yankees or possibly Highlanders. I'm not sure if they were the Highlanders in 1909 or not. But it was the team that would eventually become the Highlanders. Uh, you can see the lineups on the screen. Our lineup is going to be Frank Isbell, Freddie Parent, Patsy Doherty, Dave Altizer, Billy Pertell, Doc White, the, the inimitable Doc White, and uh, Jake Atz, Frank Owens, who also pitched for the 1909 White Sox, but uh, will be playing catcher for us today. And then pitching is going to be Hall of Famer, Big Ed Walsh. So for the Yankees, the Yankees are going to line up with uh, Austin, Eberfield, Hal Chase, who is arguably considered to be one of the best defensive first basemen in the history of baseball. I don't know how many of you out there knew that. Uh, Chuck Engel, LaPonte, LaPont, LaPointe, uh, Demerit, Demet, I don't know what it is. We Willie Keeler, who uh, famously had his all-time um, consecutive game hitting streak broken by Joe Jolton, Joe DiMaggio, uh, Sweeney, and then Joe Lake at catcher, Joe Lake, who in 1909 was 14 and 11 with a 188 earned run average, but only had a 62 and 90 lifetime pitching record as compared to his cross the diamond rival, Ed Walsh, who actually went to the Hall of Fame with a 195 and 126 lifetime record. So uh, let's get going. Welcome to the stadium for today. Okay, let me turn the sound down. And so with the sound turned down, uh, noticeably, we will get going. So let me see here. Let me put that there. And there we go. And we're off. Is bleeding off. And he's on. So he's a pretty good base stealer, but a 7%? I don't know. Let me, I'll try it. I'll try it. I'm game. 70%, yeah, let's try it. Uh, he doesn't get his normal lead, so it drops to 35%. I'm not trying then. So we got we got Freddie Parent trying to knock him around. And let's see what happens. Eric Keeler reaches up, makes the grab, and so Patsy Doherty is up. The Irishman. And what happened there? Nothing. Nothing good. Altizer is up, or at least nothing good if you're a White Sox fan. Joe Lake catching a little second wind here, and it looks like maybe getting out of the inning. And he does. That brings up Big Ed Walsh, who was born May 14, 1881, in Plains Township, Pennsylvania. And he'll be dealing to Austin. Probably not Jane Austen, the author, I'm, I'm going to guess. And Austin gets a single, and he can really steal. So let's see if we're... we're uh, we were keeping an eye. I guess it's automatic keep an eye on him. So Elber fields up, and uh, Austin did try to get a lead and couldn't. And so let's see if we turn a double play there. And it's not in time, no. So Elber fields on. 
Automatically being watched to Hell Chase, the Golden Glove first baseman. We're going to throw for the runner. And it goes into the outfield, and Elberfield moves to third. So Chase with a man 90 feet away. And a ground ball to shortstop. Over to first. He's out, but the Yankees slash Highlanders score a run. And Kengel's up, and he looks like he's going to ground. No, no, the throw is in the dirt. Parent with a bad throw there. So the White Sox off to a pretty bad start here. And we're going to throw for the runner. And he's out by a mile. So that brings us back to the plate in the second inning. And uh, we got Billy Patel up against Joe Lake. The Joe Lake. And uh, what is that? That's going to be an out. Doc White up. We need to, I, I'm thinking we're going to need the Yankees to make a couple of errors here. You know, help us out a little bit. Ball four, Doc White. Ass up at the plate. And that's a slow roller into the hole. Double play. They got him anyway, so... That brings uh, the uh, Yankees back up. Ed Walsh back out to the mound. Of course, back in these days, everybody pitched like 7,000 innings, so nobody's going to probably be relieved in this game. Demet is up with one out. Walsh steals and gets him out on strikes. That brings up Wee Willie Keeler. And it looks like he's going to ground out, and he does. So the White Sox come back up. Frank Owens, the catcher, at least for today. And did he get a hit? No. Big Ed, here comes Big Ed, and as you can see, he's got some hits on his card. And he will be out on what was probably a very good play, and then is Isabel. Back to Frank Isbell. And he's back on a board, but, you know, let's try to steal again. It didn't work last time. And no, no, they're, they, he doesn't get a lead again. So why is it the Yankees can always get a lead? Keep a lead. All right, 65%. I'm going to hold because we just uh, we need runs, base runners, and runs. Daugherty up. And he's out. So Lake gets out of it. That brings up Sweeney. For the A slash Highlanders. And that brings up Lake. Now, as you can see, Lake was not much of a hitter. And he's out. No match for Big Ed. And then that brings up Boston. And we're out of the inning that quick. And so Altizer comes up in the bottom of the fourth. Or top of the fourth. Sorry. We're visiting. And that's going to be an out. Pertel up. <laughs> He's gone, and that brings up the Doc, Doc White. And we're not, we can't get anything going like Lake here, although Doc White does get on. He walked last time. Uh, I'm just going to let everybody hit. I mean, the 70% stealing thing is not working. And Atz hits it deep to center field, but it's going to be played out there by Demet. Damn it. So uh, we've got uh, Elberfield batting against Walsh here in the bottom of the fourth. That's going to be uh, maybe a single. I might even get down. Nope. It's an out. All ties are got it. Hell chase. The gold love the first baseman chase. And he's going to pop out to second. And that brings up Angle. 
and he is out. So we come back up top of the fifth, White Sox losing by a run on a pretty sloppy first inning, sloppily played first inning by the uh, White Sox. And Owens flies out to Demet in center. Walsh comes up with one down. And Walsh got himself a base hit. Look at that. 45% uh, stealing. Obviously, Big Ed was not fleet of foot. And so that brings up Isbell. And Isbell, of course, got on twice before, but now can't manage to. And then we've got Freddie Perry. And he's on. So Patsy Doherty comes up in a key situation here where he can knock in a run and tie the game. And he does possibly no 60 i gotta send the lead runner because we're not gonna and he does score so we do tie the game nice and then all tizer comes up and he's out see i didn't have a lot of faith in us you know putting a rally together so at least now big ed is in a tie game with his opposite number joe lake Laporte is out. Demet is up. And that's going to be a fly out. And Keeler is up. And he's out. So we're coming up now, top of the sixth, in a tie game. This is a battle royale here between the uh, White Sox and the Yankees, and Pertel will lead off for us. And he gets out, strikeout. Doc White up, one for one with a walk today. And that's going to be a uh, semi somewhat deep fly ball to right, but an out, and then Atz comes up to the plate. And he's out. So, bottom of the sixth here. Still tied up. Not a big offensive display. Of course, you wouldn't expect that from two 1909 teams. Joe Lake up with an out already in the inning. And it looks like he's going to fly out, assuming Doc White doesn't drop the ball. And he did get it, and that brings up Austin. And that looks like it's an out, and it is. And so Frank Owens is up for us here in the top of the seventh. The game is moving along. Nobody gets putting on. Owens is out. Ed Walsh is up. He's one for two. And he's going to have his second hit of the day. With Is Isbell up behind him, he's got a hit. I think he was also on by a walk. And what is that going to be? That's going to be not in time to get him at first, but uh, Walsh was forced at second. So, Freddie Parents up with two outs and Isbell aboard. And uh, I guess the catcher dropped the pop-up, so Parent gets another shot. And that second shot is going to lead in to an out. So we go to the bottom of the seventh. And it's uh, it's weird because we've got six hits. The Yankees only have one. Ed Walsh is holding the uh, Yankee team, the 1909 Yankee-type futuristic future Yankee team to one hit. He did, however, walk Elberfield, and so now Chase is up with one out. Going to throw for the runner, and he's in there. So Walsh has to be careful now. That looks like it'll be a fly out to Doherty, assuming he doesn't drop it. And he doesn't. Angle is up. 
And that's going to be a base hit. We're going to see if we can cut the run off. Well, no, they didn't even try. So if we can double play here. Well, now we can't. Whoa. He got out. Oh, nice. Well, now all we have to do is we take a look at this lineup. I think I would be inclined to say I want to pitch to the next guy. So we're going to. We're going to intentionally walk him because the next guy hits 208, and that's Demet. And I would much rather pitch to Demet. Although that was a bad idea because Demet knocked in the go ahead run. And now Wee Willie Keeler is up. And Wee Willie Keeler gets a hit. And we're going to have to throw for the runner because we're not getting a lot more runs, that's for sure. And he scores. So now the Yankees take a, well, you know, you can blame this one on me. It looks like I uh, I messed up. Sweeney is going to pop out, it looks like. But we're down by two, going to the top of the eighth. So, Patsy Daugherty up. One for three on the day. We're going to need to string some hits together. We're going to have to string something together. And that looks like that could be a double. It's a triple. Nice. And that brings up Altizer. So we might get at least another run. At least another run. And if that's a... No, that's going to be a... Is that a fly out? It is a fly out. So there's one down, but we did knock in our second run. And so now we're only down by a run with Pertelop. And he hits it slowly into the hole. And there's a double. Nice. And Doc White up with still only one out here. We can do a little more damage to the Laker. But we don't. He strikes out. And Atz comes up. Atz is going to fly out, it looks like. And he does. So, Lake is up at the plate. Bottom of the eighth, Walsh dealing to him, and he gets a hit, and he's not even much of a hitter. Austin's up, and at least we know with the pitcher he's not going to try to steal. So a bunt by the next batter advances late to second. Elberfield is going to be out at first. And now Hal Chase is up with Lake 90 feet away. And he's on. So, yeah, they knocked, they got that one home. So now the uh, White Sox are down by two. Not, not good. Not at all. We need the uh, 20, 20 White Sox to offense to get out there. If we had a, a hope of... Uh, Tying this game up. The point is up. Laporte. Laporte. I don't know how you pronounce it. All right. So we got we got Frank Owens up. And he hits the ball between the hole. Ed Walsh is up. He's two for three. I'm going to let him hit. And it looks like he's going to fly out to Keeler. He is, and Isbell is up. And Isbell might have put this one into the alley, and he's going shopping at the gap. I'm not going to try to make an extra base on that because we need two runs, not one. And that brings up Freddie Parent. Isbell at second. We need a home run, really, but it's 1909. So. And he's out. So parents out, and we end up losing the game. And so there you go. That's what happened. Lake gets the win. He goes nine, allows only two earned runs, and strikes out six. 
Walsh pitched okay. He pitched eight, gave up six hits, three earned runs, and struck out six, but it wasn't good enough. We didn't win. So that's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed this game, this uh, 1909 Let's Take a Break from everything that's going on in the Sportsman Z world game from 1909. And uh, that will be it for me, and I'm signing off. See you next video.